Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. I am a queer autistic illustrator and I share what I get up to online. Um, and today I wanted to give you a studio tour. This is my studio where I am now. Up until uh, last year I was living in like shared houses with friends and stuff so everything that I had for my illustration and also for my small business was kept in my bedroom which also sort of served as my living space and like everything <laughs> so it was quite cramped um, and overwhelming a lot of the time but now I feel so super super lucky that I get to have my own special little room in the flat that I share with my girlfriend where I can work and keep all my stock and just also keep all of my cute things and make it like a really special happy place for me to work and exist as myself. My favourite part about having my own studio now is being able to separate like work and life so predominantly I only work in here so it's a space where I can come where I can focus and really like get things done it also keeps all of the like work bits so like all of my stock and like random bits and bobs away from all the other bits of our flat so it's nice to sort of have everything contained so everywhere else is sort of where we get to like live and enjoy and just like have fun and then in here is all of my like work bits so that separation is really nice for me um and also it's really nice for me to have a space where I can feel really inspired to make work by my environment so I'm sure you can see I'll show you more later but I've got lots of art on the walls I've got lots of things I like to collect everywhere um, and just lots of bits and bobs that make me happy and make me feel inspired to make happy cute empowering inclusive art to share with everyone else so yeah that's probably my two favorite things about having a studio so let's get in to the tour okay so this is sort of what you see when you enter the studio i'm stood by the door right now so i've got my desk um and then if i come over here i've got my shelves where most of my stock is that is the door to our garden um an overview of the desk for you and then down here i have my little trinket shelf um and then this shelf here is a bit of like a craft dumping ground so i will show you some of the sections so this is an overview of my desk space um i've got an l-shaped desk i got it from Facebook Marketplace second hand, but I'm pretty sure it is originally from Ikea. So I will try and find the name of it if I can, but it's really nice because this L-shaped bit pulls out and you can have it on either side. And if I wanted to, I can tuck it back in, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, so this is the overview of the desk. Okay, so the main working area in the studio is my desk. So I have this desk mat, which is from Miniso, which is my of one of my favourite characters, Rotora. So I like having this because it keeps my desk clean and I just think it's really cute. It adds a bit of pink to the desk, which I really like. Then I've got my laptop. Um, where I do my work and then I find this really useful I have this riser um which I got from Primark a while ago I've got here some storage of some art materials so these are my Poscas as you can see they are in cute little cups these are also from Miniso so I got a Hello Kitty one 
and also a little my melody one i really like this one i like all the mushrooms um so i keep those on my desk um and then i have my monthly planner so i don't know if you can see that this is from ushi studio um and i use this to plan my month january is not got much planned so it is empty but i like having that on my desk and yeah so behind my laptop i keep my sketchbooks so i've got two sketchbooks there that i use the most often i just like to have them there easy to reach i have got some more art materials so these are just some jars that i had second hand i've got some stickers on it this one just has like pens scissors basic stationery and then this one has all my colour pencils and then if you come over to this part of the desk I have got my monitor and then I don't have like a proper riser so that white thing that the monitor is on is actually for organising kitchen cupboards but I keep my monitor on that and then I will show you what's underneath so underneath my monitor I have these two little baskets and I'll get them out for you. So this one predominantly has things I use for packing orders. And then I'm going to leave that one in there because it's not very interesting but it's just got little bits and bobs that I sort of don't know where else to put. So yeah, it's got some camera film, um, the adapter for my tripod so that my phone can go on it, some blue tack. Yeah, nothing too exciting. And then behind there I have a lamp, um, which I just use when it gets really dark. And then also on my riser, I wanted to show you, I've got this cute little rainbow guy who I love very much. And then just some tech bits, so like a mouse, some USB sticks and some headphones. Okay, so the next section of the studio is my printer. So I use this to print all of my art prints um, and everything like that. I use the Canon IP8750, the Pixma printer. So it just opens out like this and the top opens up like that. Um, it's a great printer. I've had it for, I think around three years now. Uh, I've not had any problems with it. It's grey, um, the ink's not too expensive, and yeah, it prints A3, and I think up to 300 dpi. Um, I use 300 DSM paper in there, and it takes it grey, I've used sticker paper. Um, so yeah, it's a really great printer. I would definitely recommend. And then under my printer, I have like the drawers of doom. I will call them. So this top drawer is just full of paper. This is the paper I use to print all of my art prints. It has really good um, colour payoff so I definitely recommend that. I just get it from Amazon at the moment. The middle drawer holds all of my art supplies so I'm not going to open that because it's a bit crazy but it's got paint, clay, gold leaf, all of my book binding thread, like everything that I use to create non-digital work is in that drawer. And then the bottom drawer is where I keep the more boring stuff. I guess I don't know why this is in here, but this is all printer ink, electronics, and then some of the backing board I use to package my prints. I just keep those all in there, so that is that. So above my desk, I have my pin board from Ikea, um, and that has in it at the moment, these are storage for my most popular stickers. And then yeah, above the stickers, this little pot here has all of my washi tapes, um, I've got my little Care Bear clip, my hopeful heart there, which is so cute. I got her second hand. Normally this one has my business cards in, but I have run out of business cards, so it is currently empty. <laughs> this one has more of my pop.
Oscars and paint Penton. So I've got all my pastel ones and then some of my overflow Oscars. And then in this one, I have got more drawing materials. So yeah, that's really cute. I'm hoping to fill it up more soon, but they're just the bits I got from Ikea when we moved in. Also the disco ball lights on there are from Oliver Bonus. They do light up. But I don't have batteries in them at the moment, but they're quite cute. The lighting is really bad in this section of the studio. So I'm very sorry, but I will talk you through what I have. So this is a little pen pot. Um, I've got some of my colouring pens in it. This is again of Ratora, my favourite little character. It's from Miniso. It's actually a shower caddy. But I just mounted it to the wall. Uh, this light I got secondhand from Vinted. I've got all of my art prints, so I think I will tag below where most of them are from um, because there's so many. It's a lot to talk through, but some of my favourites are Meg Garold Art, um, Studio Phoebes. I don't know if you can see all of that one, but that is from Sophie Kathleen. And I've got some of my prints, which are pretty cute. They're available in my shop if you are interested. And yeah, that's some of the main things that I have on my wall. And then next to all of my prints, I have my year planner. So if you are like me and you struggle with time management and potentially overbooking yourself, um, not knowing what you're doing on what day, when you're free, when you're not, I would really recommend getting one of these. Um, I really struggle with overworking myself and booking in too many things. So having this where I can see the whole year is really helpful because I can see like, you probably can't see, but in February, I've got like quite a lot going on. So for February, I don't need to book anything else like and it's just a reminder so I don't I think sometimes I don't realize if it's on my phone or like if you just think of the dates you can't see them all close together and be like I'll be overwhelmed <laughs> so yeah that's a top tip um but my wall planner is from once upon a Tuesday I really like it because I can just scribble all over it I used to have a wipeable one um, and that was nice as well but I didn't like having to use a whiteboard pen because it was quite chunky but yeah this is my wall planner I also block out in the pink sections where I'm like on holiday and away so I know I won't be in the office or like in the studio at all. I won't be doing any work on those days. So that's, yeah, that's also very helpful. So I got that, very cute. And then the next bit of the studio is like my little trinket area, I guess, um, which is probably one of my favorite bits of the studio. So I will bring you in for a closer look. So the bookcase itself I just got from I think Home Bargains. I wanted to get a Calyx but I couldn't find one second hand. I didn't want to pay the shipping for Ikea so I just got that. I think it was only like £30 and it does the job for me. I would say it's not super super sturdy so I don't use it for storing heavy stock but it's it does the job. On top of my little cube shelves I've got my little sunny angel piggy who is super cute my little calico critter friend and then I've got this mushroom light which currently doesn't have batteries in but that's from sass and bell and then this little plant pot which is from elm in norwich I think the it's by Paige Mitchell my little money plant which is so cute and then at the back I have this little cat lamp which is from Lisa Angel and then along from that I have my little Karomi bag um, so she's actually a little plushy bag I love her and my little cheer bear I love those um, Hannah got them for me for Christmas and I love them so much and then I have my card display so this is where I keep 
most of my greetings card stock at the moment. It's the easiest for me to see. It makes it easy to pack orders. And also I just really like all the colors. I think they look really nice. So I have that there. And then moving on to some of the individual cubes. So this cube houses all of my old notebooks and sketchbooks and then quite a lot of my blind box figurines. So I have got here my Melody from the Strawberry Farm series. I've got a little Care Bear pin that I got from Hannah's parents for Christmas. This is my Rotora blind box um, little guy. So she's actually a little photo holder, the little ducky holder photo, but I just love her like that. And I've got a uh, My Melody Keyring from the Baby Keychain series. So she actually goes with that box in the background and she's so cute. And then my little Karomi from the Teddy series, but I have lost her little Teddy. So that's quite sad, but yeah. And then another Care Bear pin from Hannah's family, which is so cute. So that's all the trinkets on that shelf. Um, and then the other two top shelves have all of my t-shirt inventory at the moment so they're organized by size and I just keep them there. On the next shelf I have a little photo frame that I have started to paint and then given up and not put a photo in so I need to sort that. I've got that. I've got another little Care Bear pin from Hannah's family. This is a Hello Kitty Squishy, so she's like a little squishy guy and she came from another blind box which you put water on and then she comes out and she's really cute, I love her. And then I got a little My Melody from the Fuzzy Bunny series, um, I got her for Christmas and she is so cute, I love her. The next cube has all of my artist's books and illustrated books and I got this little cinema roll light and this little Care Bear collectible which is pretty cute and then next to that I have got badge storage so this is all of my overflow badge storage and this is the container I use to take them to market. And then on the bottom of my shelving unit's not very interesting. I've just got some packing supplies, which I need to restock. And then that crate there is full of all of my gardening bits. So if you would like to know more about my gardening bits and the garden and stuff, let me know, but I've got that there. Okay, so the next main section of the studio is my stock which I'm giving an overview of now. So let's take a closer look. The shelving units themselves are from Ikea. They were quite easy to put together. They're not too heavy either. Um, so that I've got two of them together and I find them really useful. So if I can find the name of them, I will let you know what it is. So on the top shelf, I have all of my badge making materials. This box has in it all the parts for my badge machine. That is the badge machine. And this has in all of the badge making components and the cutouts I need to make the badges. I've got my box of prints, which is pretty cute. And then I've got leftover Christmas decorations from Christmas time. I've got two designs of those that are left over. I've got some miscellaneous stationary supplies and then these two boxes currently are empty, but they are used, they used to be used to store my stickers and badges, but they have now outgrown those storage systems. And then on the next shelf, I've got my colouring books at the back, my sticker sheets. This little crate is overflow sticker storage. And then I have my earrings. And this is all full of pronoun badges. So all of these blue containers are from the range. They're really good. They've all got sections and they're really secure. So that's really great. 
And then if we move along, I've got some of my more organized badge storage. So on the top, I have got Barbie badges. If I move that, I've got all of my identity badges, so all of the different sexualities. And then under that, I've got some more of my just generic badges. Um, these containers are also from the range. I'd recommend them, they're very sturdy. I bring them to all my markets and it's really easy to display. And then under the coloring books, I've got this crate, which has in it all of my jewelry making supplies. So for workshops and for any necklaces I make, as well as beadboards and some packaging. And then these are just some empty crates that are waiting at the moment for some new products, which is very exciting. And then the bottom of all of my shelves is just excess stock storage really. So I've got my grid that I use for markets, uh, market display materials, more badge components. Underneath I've got a laminator, another card stand, pop-up photo studio, um, and then that's more envelopes display equipment and my sewing machine and then yeah as I mentioned at the start I have this section of craft dumping so I'm not going to go through that but basically we've got yarn like gift wrapping supplies scrap looking things and all sorts on there I also have my rail stored there that I use for market so that's from Argos it's nice I like that it's pink um yeah so that's that and then I wanted to show you on the back of the door I have my Squishmallow clip collection. So yeah this isn't really necessarily studio based but it is in my studio and I do love them to have my little Squishmallow clip collection. I will do a little close up on them all but basically Hannah started getting these for me as a little advent present. Um, for Christmas, I had this guy already, um, and I just am obsessed with them. I love them. I love squishmallows in general, but they're obviously quite big. But I can collect all the little clips and display them here. So, yeah, I will show you my guys. We have Axel, who's a little beetle. This is Scarlet, the strawberry. She's so sweet. This is the Otto, my first ever one, Loon. This is Maribel, or Mirabel, I'm not too sure how you say it. And then this is Davina. Uh, so yeah, if you want to know more about my Squishmallows, please comment down below. I understand it's not really to do with illustration, but I really love them. And also they really help me manage my anxiety. So if you want to know more about that, please let me know. I'd be happy to make a video on it. But yeah, so I have these guys on my door just watching over me while I work. <laughs> okay, so that basically brings us to the end of the video of my little studio tour. So please let me know what you thought in the comments down below if you have any questions. I will try and remember where everything's from and link things if I can but yeah if you want to know where anything's from please just leave me a comment and if you want to see any more videos about anything in more detail I'd love to share some videos about my storage solutions about how I make my products about any of my little collectibles like just let me know um but yeah I'm really grateful to have this studio space and be able to have somewhere to be creative. Like I feel so lucky and it's something that I really wanted for such a long time. And I'm really trying to remember like when I'm comparing myself to others and things like that, like I'm already achieving things and like living a version of a life that I'd like dreamed of for so long. So yeah, this is also a reminder as well. If you don't yet have a studio space, like you don't need this like you can make so much just from like your bedroom like like I said I used to live in a shared house I had like a tiny desk and 
you don't need all of this space to be creative but I am just very lucky and I wanted to share it with you and just share some of my joys so yeah that's the studio and that's me if you enjoyed the video please give it a like and a comment and if you want to be friends with me please subscribe I'm hoping to be posting monthly vlogs throughout the whole of 2024 and just sharing some other behind the scenes bits as well so see you soon thank you for watching the video and have a lovely day bye